Hi, my name is Meg and I'm an audiologist with Seattle Children's. This video was created to discuss the information reviewed at your Bone Conduction Sound Processor, or BCSP, fitting. This is a Bone Conduction Sound Processor. At Seattle Children's, we call it a BCSP. It is like a little computer that turns sounds into vibrations and sends them straight to the inner ear. The BCSP is battery powered. The color and number on your battery pack tell what size battery you need. The batteries are toxic. Keep them away from small children and pets. If a battery is swallowed, contact poison control at 1-800-222-1222 or the emergency vet. To turn on the BCSP, peel the sticker from the battery. Place the battery into the BCSP and close the battery door. You may hear some beeps or music or see a light to tell you that the BCSP is on. To turn the BCSP off, open the battery door. If the battery door has a lock, use a tool to unlock the battery door. The BCSP is worn on a headband or soft band. Attach and detach the BCSP to the headband with a rocking motion like this. The BCSP sits behind the ear. The headband needs to be tight for the best sound for your child, but it should not leave a red mark when removed. The buttons on the BCSP are usually disabled. They can be enabled to control volume and special settings. There is a light on the BCSP. It can be enabled to tell you when the BCSP is on. The light will flash a different color to let you know that the battery is low. Many kids will wear a safety line that attaches the BCSP to a shirt. This can catch the device in case the BCSP or headband falls off of the head. To attach a safety line to the BCSP, follow the instructions included in your kit. Your child should wear the BCSP all day except when swimming or taking a bath. Before bed, take the BCSP off, open the battery door, take the BCSP off of the headband, and put the BCSP into the dry aid kit while your child is asleep. If your BCSP is not working, here are some common fixes to try. Is the BCSP whistling? This is called feedback. Tighten the headband. Move the BCSP to a different spot behind the ear. Make sure nothing is covering the BCSP. If the BCSP is still whistling while on your child's head, Contact your audiologist. Is there no sound coming from the BCSP? Change the battery. 
Make sure to close the battery door completely. Use the listening post to check that the sound sounds okay. Attach the BCSP to the post and hold it behind your ear. You will need to plug your ears and say something in order to test that there is sound coming from the BCSP. The goal is to eventually use the BCSP all day during all awake activities. It can take your child some time to get used to wearing this device. It may seem loud to them at first. Your audiologist has set the BCSP at a safe volume for your child. The more the BCSP is worn, the more the brain can start to get used to the sound. Your child may start wearing the BCSP a little bit at a time, a couple of hours, if they are not tolerating them. Over time, you can increase to eventually wearing the BCSP full time. Sometimes this transition can take weeks or longer. If you are looking for strategies about how to increase the amount of time your child wears their BCSP, contact your audiologist for some ideas. The goal is to wear the BCSP all day except when sleeping or bathing. Some ways to increase BCSP use include pairing the use of the BCSP with a fun activity, like having a snack or reading a favorite book, creating a schedule, attaching use or placement of the BCSP to a schedule or a visual chart, or creating an incentive chart, like a sticker chart, to allow the child to place a sticker each day that they place their BCSP on. Involving your child in BCSP use is important. It's important to involve your child and encourage them to work with their BCSP. Getting a BCSP is a big adjustment for your family and your child. It is important to talk to your child about the device and why they are worn every day. This could be as simple as you wear your BCSP every day so you can hear things better. This also lets the BCSP become a part of their everyday life and help support them when others ask about the BCSP. There are so many ways to support your child and encourage BCSP use. Ask your audiologist about some specific ways to support your child in relation to their identity and hearing loss and the use of their BCSP.